Aston Hall in Derbyshire was a hospital for the mentally deficient, as they were called back then. It's a small chair the Dr Milner sat on, a canvas spread that they lay on, like a canvas, a canvas mattress, and um, they had, wore a, ca a kind of um, restraining canvas as well, I think. A straitjacket? Uh, like a straitjacket, yes. Occasionally you'd hear them crying from, from the room where the treatment took place. John Bull joined Aston Hall as a nurse in 1962. Here, children under the care of psychiatrist Dr Kenneth Milner were stripped, trussed up and drugged with sodium amytol, known then as a truth serum. Today, Derbyshire police came up with a different kind of truth. It was important for the police to investigate, despite knowing from the outset that Dr Milner had died many years prior. The investigation has concluded that had Dr Milner been alive today, he would have been interviewed as a suspect under caution. The police heard evidence pointing to 77 crimes of both physical and sexual abuse. Barbara O'Hare was 12 years old when she got the truth serum treatment. It was just horrendous. And then taken into this room and made to lay on a rubber mattress. I'd prefer not to go too far into that because today's a very emotional day anyway, but then I was injected with um, this drug, which I now know was sodium amytal. I didn't know what it was then. An intravenous injection of sodium amytal induces a state similar to hypnosis. Sodium amytal was used in the Second World War to treat soldiers with shell shock to recover from trauma. John Houston made a film celebrating the remedy. You're not going to feel much of anything else. The technique of narcoanalysis was based on the idea that when a patient received this drug, they went into a hypnotic state in which they revealed um, traumatic experiences, they talked through um, these experiences in a way that was inaccessible to them when they weren't on that drug. It fell out of fashion after the war because there was no good scientific evidence that it worked but sodium amytal was never supposed to be used on children. Now its use in child psychiatry from the 1960s would have been unheard of. There are no published papers um, by any kind of respected research scientist from the 60s and 70s arguing for the use of sodium amytal um, in the treatment of narcoanalysis of children. There's just none. Some victims fear Dr Milner sexually abused them. Others that he suggested false memories of family abuse. What was the former nurse's view of Dr Milner's work? Uh, as a person, he was um, a little bit like a lord of the manor. I haven't heard of anyone being very clear about it, actually, what he did. Were there doubts about his conduct in the hospital at the time when you were there? No, no, no. Would you have been in a position, or any of your colleagues have been in a position, to say, Doctor, stop this? No. Dr Kenneth Milner died in 1975, but his legacy is grim. His former child patients are suing the NHS for damages. Win or lose, we now know there is solid evidence that by using sodium amytal on children, he offended against the doctor's oath. First, do no harm.